Welcome to any resources how to build a browser based in Morgan's Halls of a Hollow video 32. We're still working on the guilds and I guess the next thing we need to do is actually make it to where you can invite people. I, I was thinking about this while I was waiting on this upload video to upload and I was thinking well we could do like a drop down box with all the players and then I got to thinking that's just going to cause mass just people inviting everybody they can find and um, we really don't want that so I'm just going to make it a text box where they have to type in the username and then hit submit to make it a little easier and we can actually um, steal a little bit of code from our guild right here and drop it in right here and the first thing we want to do is we're going to echo invite a player to and I tell you what we'll make that part of the submit button we don't want to do that um, so let's change this to index. We're going to do player name, name, and then that's really all we need. Eh, let's do it. Let's do a message. That way they can say, hey, join my guild. Um, message to player, to player, and we don't want to make it too long, so let's do about 120. Um, and then we'll do a hidden value of guild, because I do want to throw it in here. Yeah, let's let's do it this way. Let's um, let's do guild and let's do invite player. But we want to put one more hidden field in there, and we want to call it invite. So now we come up here, right up top here, we're going to do if is set post invite because our it's automatically going to drop down in this box with the first hidden we sent which was guild which actually if you notice that's a git we're sending a post so we need to put in here a or hmm don't know if I want to do it that way Just making sure we want to do it this way because, uh, yeah, we can do it this way. And then all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this. So let's make sure we got this. Yes. We want to keep that there and we're going to do a or. I know it's getting a little confusing. Is set post guild. And we're going to. So we've got. There's a million of these things right now. We've got one. That looks good there. Or it said post guild. And then it ends there. Let's create one more right here. I'm thinking this will work, but we'll test it out here in a minute. Um. That way it's either or. It's kind of a long way around doing it, but it works. Now let's fix this one. Let's test that. Oh, that looks like it worked. So there is invite player. But it's kind of not the way we want it. It looks really ugly right now. So let's do, um, we could do some columns. Maybe like a little box in there, but I tell you what, for now... Let's just change this around. Let's just make this back to 80. You don't want to, and then we'll worry about the message here in a minute. We want to center all this. Just already supposed to be centered. So let's. Ah, here we go. This is what we need to do. We got a break between there. Let's look at this. Um, 
drop that down. Tell you what, let's kind of pretty it up a little bit. And I say pretty it up and we're going to add a table in here. People are going to get on to me, but oh well. All we're going to do or equals just to kind of put it together. We could use a div tag here very easily, but to be honest with you, I'm not really wanting to get into that right now. And to me, I'm still a pretty big table fan, especially when they're used with divs. You can really get a lot more done. I don't recommend using nothing but tables, but I do recommend using them together. See how much better that looks? I mean, we still got to center it because we didn't center our table, center it inside there, but it kind of gives a little, um, a little better. Let's do this. Let's do invite player to guilt. And then we got invite player here, and then we're going to do See what that looks like. Okay. That was not going to work. There. That's what I wanted to do. And just to be in the proper format. I know I'm mumbling or not, but uh okay, there we go. Um I still don't like that either. Still looks ugly. So we're going to cut this out. We're going to put it right here. We're going to get rid of this and we're going to change that to a bold. And, and then we're going to put our break right there. Let's try that. I think that'll make it look a little better. All we got to do now is put it on the other side of the center and we are golden. And I know it's, you know, not super pretty, but it's just for what we're doing. You guys can pretty it up better. Okay, invite. And actually what you could do, too, is you could put a secondary little box around there. But, you know, whatever. This works. So you put in the player name, you put the message of the player, and you hit invite player. And then we need to actually do the invite. So let's do a real quick uh, submit, which is going to be up here. And basically, the first thing we want to do, and this is what I was talking about, um, let's do this. Let's do let's look at our, our, our database real quick. Let's look at messages. So it's creating a random. So to make this easy, let's drop into. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't remember where we did. Was it in profile where we did our messages? Yeah. There we go. That's get messages. Where are we entering them at? read message maybe I'm wrong delete message oops let's give copper send message here we go so this will make it really easy on us we'll just do um, copy this we won't use most of it but we'll change it here in a second let's go ahead and drop this in there subject is going to equal guild invite and the message we should be passing back message and then the name is going to be player name there's one other thing I want to do oh, there's a couple things actually I want to do with this um, user will leave user and then um, name equals because we want to be able to say who it is and what guild sent it so let's let's drop in a couple more hiddens right here let's do um let me get this out of the way let's do uh, user 
equals player and then we need to do the guild name which we've already accessed up here select all from guild remember select all from guilds so let's just do one more and we'll call it guild and the value will be uh, let's see guild info 3 name I believe is what it's under we'll give it a try so we take um, name user and then guild and we gotta be careful not to confuse name and user I probably shouldn't have did it this way but what did I call it um, guild ID guild let's just call it guild and so that should get all of our information so now we want to insert into messages the let's look at our database real quick and see where we're at on that the PID is Hall so that's who who it is um, our subject our message our randed our sender so our who did we pass we passed our user is the player so the sender is user so we want to put for the sender is user wow the person is name and I know I got that backwards I know it's a little confusing but it'll work um, subject guild invite for the guild. And that way it kind of tells you what guild it's from. The subject, the randed, um, where's our randed? Let's, let's create a randed. Random ID equals rand uh, 999 to 999999. That should be enough. Shouldn't need more than that. Uh, let's take the two off of there and then the message date and then we want to say guild invite sent get rid of this garbage and I believe we're ready to go I'm sure I'll have an error in there somewhere but let's let's just fire it off and see what happens let's refresh it to see if there's any errors no error so far so player name let's let me see who what players I can send this to I think I have test in here whoops um players test so let's send it to test and message the player hey did this work join my guild invite player guild invite sent so that means if we log out uh, I thought we created a logout button on this there it is and we log back in oh, we gotta clean this stuff up we got a new message and it's a guild invite now if you notice the one thing we're missing is where do I click to join the guild um, and we're gonna do that hey this work join my guild at least we know it's working so let's go ahead and um, delete that message and we're gonna stop the video here and the next one will show how to actually bring them in